Eventually, every CNC owner runs into a situation where they need to relocate an existing part that they've already run a program for and do more operations to it. Because the CNC Shark has no fixed zero points, this can be a little bit tricky. I need to recut the pocket in a part that I've already created and built. The secret is to create a program that locates both the part and the operation using the same zero point. And it all starts in the software. So the program includes a large area pocketed out that will hold and locate the part and includes the vectors for the actual cutting that I want to do on the part. I'll program both of these toolpaths in the same vcar file, but output the tap files to the shark as two separate operations. This ensures that both operations share the same xy zero point, and ensures that they are aligned to one another as set up in the drawing. The initial operation to locate the part is nothing more than just a shallow pocket that the part will set in and locate itself physically on the machine. Nothing sophisticated, this is just a 1 8 inch deep pocket in a piece of scrap. In this case, the second stage operation is nothing more than a half inch deep pocket. But it really can be whatever operations you need it to be. Lettering or decorative engraving, a series of holes or openings needing to be cut, or whatever it is that you require. The secondary operation could even be multiple parts in and of itself using separate tools. As long as everything shares the same XY point, that's the critical factor. The pocket simply has to be maintained as a separate operation from everything else. Here, even though I'm using the same tool for both operations, they're being sent as two separate tab files out to the CNC shark. The physical operations are not terribly complex either. I've clamped a piece of quarter inch scrap down to my table and then set my part in place roughly where I want it. Mark the rough location of the pocket and a specific point to set my X and Y zero to. And then I just cut the locating pocket with the Z set specifically to this piece of scrap. I've now created a fixture that my part can be located onto and secured in place, just as I set it up before actually cutting the pocket. And now, without changing the X and Y zero points, the Z can be reset for the new operation. The touch plate makes this quick and easy, but I don't have one, so I just use a piece of paper as a feeler gauge, stepping down one thousandth of an inch at a time until the Z is set where I want it. With everything set up, I can simply run the secondary operation in complete confidence that it's going to cut on the existing part exactly where I want it to. This particular operation was a one-time thing, but as long as I don't move the fixture board, I can cut as many of these secondary operations in a row as I need to. And if I wanted to reuse this fixture in the future, I could use the router to establish a physical XY0 location and then when I remounted the fixture in the future, I could just zero out to that physical location. So the next time you run into a situation where you need to do a secondary operation to a part that you've already made, you'll know how to do it.